Hey guys, welcome to the episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be talking to you guys about working with events. So if you work with jQuery before, you're familiar that, you know, when you want to bind an event to a DOM element, you use the on and then you say what name of event that you want to bind to. And then basically when that button is clicked, uh, it triggers that event and then you do whatever you want to do. In React, it's slightly different. Let me show you. So uh, over here, we have the three contacts from the previous episode. What I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to uh, implement a button here. So I'm going to use this pure button. Uh, if you haven't uh, you know, been following along with us, we are using the pure CSS. Uh, so basically, we're going to create a button in our application. And then what we're going to do is when we click that button, it's going to add one more of these contacts into the page. So without you know, ever reloading the page, of course. And that's what React is all about. So I'm going to head over into the code over here and you'll see that we're going to probably have to change this around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is introduce a new div over here, ID, uh, layout. And then what I'm going to do is use this as the main div. Uh, and then we're going to add the button and put this grid in here uh, inside of this main div here. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add the button. And so to add the button is very simple. Let me just remove this ID over here. And we're going to do uh, a href. And then we have the, uh, it's not going to link anywhere. It's just a button we're going to interact with. And so the class name is going to be pure button uh, add contact. So we're not going to make it look pretty just yet. We're just going to make it work. Um, and so, so this is going to work just fine right now. Um, so what we're going to do next is let, let's take a look at what's happened. So I'm going to go over to here and, and do a reload. There we go. We have a button and you can see when I click on here, it changes this part over here. Um, so if you work with jQuery before, you're going to be uh, familiar that, you know, you, we have to do the prevent default to actually stop the default behavior of this button from happening. And to do that, let's go ahead and add a, a on click event. So on click. Uh, and then now we need to bind it to a certain function. So we're going to implement this function in here. So add contact, I'm going to call it. And then uh, uh, it's going to be a function like this. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about, so we have two kinds of functions, this function and the one where it's a property. So this is basically an add contact property with an anonymous function. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit later down the line what the difference is and how it all works together. So here I'm just going to uh, put the E. So this is E is going to be the event object that gets propagated through this uh, on click event over here. And so basically what we're going to do is E dot prevent default. And so basically what this is going to do is stop the browser from adding that pound once we click on this, um, this button over here. So uh, to bind this on click event to this function, all we have to do is this dot add contact. And that's it. And so now let's try this out and we're going to add console.log clicked. All right. So now this should uh, work. So let's see, why is it giving us that? Um... Aha. Okay. It's all gone now. It's all should be working. The linter is working. So I'm going to head over into the browser over here and do a reload real quick. And so I'm going to click uh, open inspect element to open up the console so that when we click on it, you can see what's going on. There we go. So it now says clicked. Great. So um, the next part, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be working with what's called the component state. So in order for us to trigger a change uh, where, you know, the, the React is going to know to re-render this component, we have to go through the state, the component state. So in the next episode, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. All right, guys, uh, if you haven't already become a member on our site, become a member. Uh, that's how we're getting support from the community. And, uh, and so if you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and we have member exclusive React content coming very soon on our site. Uh, so stay tuned and become a member. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one.